guys welcome back to the channel uh, first of all uh, I would like to thank uh, and welcome all the new subscribers um, yeah it really uh, means a lot to me uh, I think we're on 32 now so yeah, we're getting somewhere and today I wanted to do a little uh, DIY video um, I saw a, uh, a, a ember clock uh, in the Japanese uh, EGs and ever since I have the S2000 uh, cluster uh, I did not like the, the blue numbers on the, on the clock uh, so I thought yeah uh, I can buy a, a amber clock but yeah the, the JDM prices are uh, a, bit, uh, a bit high and so I started looking on the internet and um, Turns out you can actually do it yourself, uh, and it looks pretty close to the to the JDM one. Uh, so I thought, yeah, uh, why not uh, give it a go? Um, so I already did it on my car, and I'm uh, yeah, I'm very happy with the with the end result. Um, in the daylight, yeah, it, it maybe could be a little more amber, but as soon as it's night, um, yeah, it definitely uh, looks looks like. Uh, the real ember clock um, yeah what I did uh, I just bought myself uh, a small box of, uh, of Tic Tacs the orange uh, cover yeah and uh, furthermore uh, I used some alcohol to uh, to clean up the residue from the, the Tic Tac uh, sticker um, yeah furthermore you have to remove your bezel from the car um, I will uh, put a uh, link to a video of mine uh, where I'm installing the S2000 cluster and you can also see how to remove the bezel um, Yeah, you need it removed because the the clock is held in with uh, three little screws there's one on the on the downside and two up there so you have to remove that uh, in order to get the, the clock out, uh, also remove the the plug from the clock. Uh, as soon as you you try to pull the bezel out, you have to remove that, um, and then just unscrew the three screws, and we'll take it uh, from there. Okay, I have the the clock removed. So this is what you end up with: just a, a small little uh, piece of plastic. And what you want to do is uh, yeah, release the tabs. There's two on the top and there's two on the bottom. And you have to, uh, to, to press the lip up so you can separate uh, the two halves. Um, yeah, I will do that now and uh, I will show you the inside of the clock then. So when you have the yeah, uh, when you separate the two parts, uh, be very careful because uh, there are four plastic pieces that will fall right out of out of these holes. And those are the are the buttons to uh, to set the time and uh, yeah, activate the clock when you uh, press down on this little tab. Um, you have to put those back, but I will show you how to put uh, put them back. Um, yeah. Y now you have the, the clock half separated, you can do two things. Um, you can uh, cut this uh, little box up and uh, yeah, make it exactly as big as it and then somehow uh, glue it to the clock itself. Uh, I did not do that, I chose to uh, uh, place the piece I cut out inside um, the outer uh, outer half um, so um, yeah it, it's just laying on top of the um, yeah, piece of plastic that's already in there and what I did I heated up a, uh, a small screwdriver and um, yeah just uh, melted the, the tic tac uh, piece of plastic on the four little points you already see there um, to hold it in uh, works perfectly so uh, but you can also choose to glue it in if you want to 
uh, that's that's completely up to you but yeah I thought this uh, this was a the better way to do it for me so I chose that um, yeah I will uh, I will cut up the the tic tac box and clean up the residue um, then I will uh, will show you guys uh, yeah, how I did it so I have a piece uh, of the tic tac uh, box cut out uh, it's not uh, all the way clean and there are some scratches uh, here and there but um, yeah and the one I used uh, on my clock uh, was also not 100% clean and also had a little bit of scratches but um, when you put everything back in the car you won't even notice it so yeah that's fine um, yeah as you can see um, it's not straight and the reason why I did that is because um, one of the buttons, the small one over there, uh, has a little uh, yeah, a little piece uh, out of it. Um, you will also need to do that because otherwise, if you make uh, the tic tac piece uh, too big, you can put back this little pin. So that's why I did that. Um, yeah, once you uh, you have the correct size and it fits in there like so, um, yeah, you can just uh, do what I did: uh, heat up a screwdriver and uh, yeah, press it down on the four corners where the small black tabs already are to keep it in place. But you can also glue it in if you want to; uh, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm gonna do that now and then I will show you the uh, yeah, result when it's uh, stuck in there and then I will show you how to put back the small buttons and then we uh, put back the clock together and then I will uh, show you guys the end result. So as you can see I just uh, got a small screwdriver. Um, heated it up with my lighter and then I just pressed the screwdriver on the four little tabs and it's not going anywhere so stay snug in there um, for the for the buttons and uh, they go in like so so with the yeah small tab um, to the the underside of the clock and you just slid it in there like so and this one and the third one and yeah this one is a little bit trickier because and there's also a small pin inside there and uh, yeah, this button slides over it uh, in the hole there so uh, I don't know if I can do this with one hand no I'm gonna put you guys down so for the small one goes in like uh, like so Just try to slide it over ah, there we go so all the buttons go like this and the only thing you have to do now is just Put the clock back together I have a little bit of black tape on here my other clock didn't have that so I don't need that remove it yeah, and just uh, press everything in like so and that's done. Now you can put back the, the clock on the bezel with the three screws. 
and put the bezel back in your car and uh, I will uh, show you the end result now so this is uh, the end result this is what you end up with as you can see it uh, matches the S2000 cluster a lot better and on camera it's uh, yeah, not that uh, not that orange but uh, yeah trust me in uh, in real life it's uh, a little bit more orange so uh, yeah I'm, uh, I'm happy with the with the end result so yeah that's uh, how I uh, came up with my own uh, DIY for the for the ember uh, clock uh, I hope you guys uh, liked it um, if you did uh, yeah, please leave a like on the video and uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think about it um, if you if you didn't already do so uh, also subscribe to the channel um, yeah it means a lot to me um, yeah uh, once again uh, thank you to all the new subscribers and uh, the people that are already subscribed to me um, yeah it really means a lot to me um, yeah I hope we can can keep this channel growing um, I, I never would have thought that uh, uh, I, I would already have uh, 32 subscribers now so uh, yeah I'm, I'm already uh, so happy with that um, yeah thank you guys from the bottom of my heart and uh, I will see you guys uh, in the next one peace Thank you.